first take this opportunity to congratulate both Houses of Parliament for executing their legislative duty um, in a manner that uh, has given us in the executive, both at the national and at the county level, the opportunity now to expand these 46 billion Kenya shillings that will go into uh, various uh, interventions in, in government. First, let me also congratulate um, the Council of Governors for working with us and the National Assembly and the Senate to make it possible for us to agree on moving these bills forward. Um, the decision by the Council of Governors to withdraw uh, court matters that had become a stumbling block on this issue is a very welcome development and it goes to the spirit of both levels of government working together and both levels of government working also with the legislature so that we can find mechanisms of us working together without the acrimony that comes with taking ourselves to court. It is um, our collective decision to find ways of working together harmoniously, finding consensus on matters that are difficult and listening to one another. Secondly, I'm very happy that uh, now we have resources that will support our counties. Close to 29 billion shillings will be made available by this uh, piece of legislation that has now become law. It will support our counties to discharge their mandate, which is very clear in our constitution. And because the counties are doing, uh, are carrying out mandate assigned to them by the constitution, and it is our responsibility to mobilize resources and support the counties. I must say that um, we continuously are working towards making sure that whenever we have resources, it is shared between the two levels of government equitably so that every level of government can discharge their responsibilities. I know last week we paid, uh, is it last week or the week before? The week before, we paid about 31 billion shillings to our counties. We are again planning in the next uh, week or two to pay another substantial amount of money, again, to support our counties for them to discharge their responsibilities. I'm also very happy that counties are beginning to also look at other avenues of raising resources. And I want to congratulate governors who are continuously increasing their own source of revenue funds, because that way we make counties discharge their responsibilities without too much uh, intervention and too many hurdles. Let me also say, now we have, um, we know there has been an outstanding matter of some counties that did not have appropriate headquarters because they were small and they couldn't raise resources from their shareable revenue to be able to do the county headquarters. The government has now made it possible for us to complete that project because uh, the 450 million that we have now allocated to the five uh, counties, that money is sufficient to complete uh, the county headquarters in the five counties. Additionally, because we are now moving into the planting season and God has been gracious to us, we have sufficient rain. There will be resources also to support our fertilizer subsidy program that is going to assist our farmers across the country. And I want to ask our farmers as the fertilizer is made available let us use the seeds, the fertilizer that has been made available for us 
to be able to grow food in our country because it is the only way we can get rid of the shame of hunger in our nation. I want to um, congratulate farmers across Kenya. Last year, they, um, in their activities, we managed to raise the level of food security in our country. We managed to uh, grow more food last year. Maize alone went up from 44 million bags to 67 million bags. Last year also, um, we got 500 metric tons of uh, cotton seed. And I am very happy that again this year, the government of Kenya is going to supply additionally 500 metric tons of cotton seed. And the price of cotton has now been increased from 52 to 72 shillings a kilo. Continuously, we want to eliminate the importation of cotton uh, into our country so that we can make fabric here and the exports from Kenya must have cotton that is grown by our farmers, even from our special economic zones. Let me also say on the subject of edible oil, and that is why we are focusing on the partnership between government, the national government and the county government. Uh, last year, we provided seeds for um, sunflower because edible oil is one of the big tickets that is consuming our foreign exchange. And it is our plan to reduce the purchase of edible oil where we spend close to a billion dollars every year. We want to reduce that to 50% in the next three years and in five years to eliminate completely the importation of edible oil into Kenya because we believe that sunflower, canola, soya, and palm oil, once we have rolled out fully uh, their development in Kenya, will give us uh, the requisite amount for us to reduce and to eliminate eventually importation into Kenya. It is our commitment as a government that progressively the 500 billion Kenya shillings we use to import sugar, wheat, maize, rice, edible oil, we will reduce it to zero in the next five years so that we can save on our foreign exchange and we can empower our farmers by buying from them instead of buying from farmers from elsewhere. So this is a very important uh, piece of legislation. I want to congratulate uh, all the stakeholders and now urge our county governments to move with speed so that we can unlock the programs that are dependent on these resources and we can all work together towards making Kenya the great country that we all want it to be. So again, Mr. Speaker, uh, both houses, thank you very much. Leaders of majority, thank you very much. The chair of uh, budget and the clerks, uh, now the ball is in our court. The executive on this side, we will now do what we must do. So asante sana, my very best wishes, and God bless you.